Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on interconverting molar mass and density of ideal gases. Pretty cool problem here. Gave me a headache. A sample of an unknown compound is vaporized at 110 Celsius. Okay, let's go ahead and put that in Kelvin since we know everything has to be in Kelvin. So 110 plus 273.15 is going to be 383.15 Kelvin. Okay. It produces a volume of 910 mils. All right. Well, this is ideal gas. This is because this is what they're saying, an ideal gas law. If you remember the ideal gas law is PV equals NRT. And if P is in atmospheres, then R is in liter atmospheres over Kelvin moles. Which means it has to be in Kelvin, it has to be in moles, it has to be in liters. All right, so... 910 milliliters is going to be 0.910 liters. So we have atmospheres and we have a we have a weight here we'll talk about in a second. All right, so that means we our R, the R we're going to use since we're we have atmospheres, your R is going to equal point 0820574 liter a Kelvin liter atmospheres over Kelvin moles. All right, so we are asked to find the molar mass. And if you remember molar mass from the periodic table, it's grams per mole. So we want grams, which are given, and we're going to divide by moles, which we're going to solve for. Okay, because we have pressure, so let's let's fill it in. We've got pressure as one atmosphere. We've got volume as 0 0.910 liters. Okay, uh, we're going to solve for N. So NRT, so RT has to be on the bottom. R, since it's atmospheres, has to be 020574 liter atmospheres over Kelvin moles, and then T. T has to be in Kelvin, 383.15. Okay. So we have 0.91 divided by 0 equals divided by 383.15 equals okay that's going to give us moles equals 0 0.028943751 moles okay so that's the bottom number. We've got grams per mole. So we're going to say grams. Okay, grams is 985 grams over 28943751. Then I'll round at the end. And I've got the molar mass equals 34.03152573 grams per mole. It's the calculator. Now look for significant figures. I've got 110 dot, so that's 3. 910 dot, that's 3. 100 dot, that's 3. 0.985, that's 3. So I need 3. So it's going to be 34.0 grams per mole. Okay, pretty awesome. 